Happy New Year everyone, welcome back to another video on the channel. The Valkyrie, nicknamed Valk, series is a series of hats designed to look almost as an angel warrior head crown. There have been multiple hats in the series, and in Roblox, this hat represents prestige and class for multiple. These hats in the series can be going up to 750 Canadian dollars each, and are often worn by famous players in the trading community. However, because they are limited, these items have a very high demand but a very low product. Another part which makes these items wanted is the exclusivity of the item, as most of these items are limited or timed in a sale. They sell for a very high price, but they also make high value. However, the average Robloxian usually can't afford this. Some will seek out ways, any, to get these items, even not using common sense to do so. This leads us to our Ice Valk scam. Many of you may be wondering, why are you getting these messages in your DMs? What can you do to keep yourself safe from this incident, and how to look out for scams as well? I will also be going over in this video how this scam started, what will actually happen if your account gets taken, and what else you can do to protect your account, as well as looking out for future scams. Let's get started. My name is Tanuki Alex, and this is our Roblox Tips and Tricks series. Yo, what's up, Hashtag Nerd Squad, and welcome back to another video. But before we get started, thank you all so much for 1,000 subscribers. This is my dream goal, and I can't believe I hit it. So thank you to everyone who subscribed. If you're new to the channel, please be sure to subscribe and turn on the notification so you don't miss out on any Roblox drama, tips, tricks, and more. With that being said, let's get started with our video. Now in this video, what I'll be doing is I'll be ranking things in three orders. Firstly, how this scam started, what is the scam, and what you can do to protect your account, or how to look out for other scams. Let's get started. The Ice Folk was released near December of last year as a way to commemorate the Christmas slash holiday season. It has since sold for double the value. As such, people could not afford it, and Roblox.codes took advantage of this on younger players. I estimate that the source of this originally started when one player's account got hacked. It has since spurred into a multiple spree of more vulnerable players falling for this scam as a way to get a more valuable item. The case really seems to have spread like a virus in this code, and the message, I'll read it to you here. Hey, if you use the code, quote end quote, ICE, on Roblox chat slash codes, you get an ICE Valk. The scam was estimated to start on Boxing Day, which is the 26th of December. Now you may ask, who is this Roblox.codes people? Where do they start, and where did they originate? Well, after doing some research, I found that the same company also does Fortnite V-Bucks scams as well, and it seems that they started in around 2014 scamming players. We've seen things like this in the past, with Robux generators, which really don't generate Robux and just generate ad revenue through you clicking on the deals. As these Roblox generators claim to be from Roblox, Roblox started to take these down, and so they've had to make multiple sites. First starting off with the Roblox generator, it doesn't actually ask for your password. It just asks for your username and puts in code that really doesn't do anything. It's more of just face value code. These scams were especially popular in the 2014, 2015, and the 2016 era. However, people have started to realize that these Roblox generators are fake, and so they have declined. And so, the developers made a new incentive. What if they could get almost double the value if they struck it rich with these accounts? It seems they are also doing the same with Epic Games' account, which Epic Games is a developer of Fortnite. These items may vary between platforms such as Robux, V-Bucks, and more. I couldn't do any further research on the developer as most of their things are hidden. There are no contact links. It's none of that. It's just their site and that's it. 
Now, let's move on to the next point. What if you get hacked? And what happens as you're hacked or what happens in this site? Let's get started. What these sites do, it's almost like a double whammy. First, they'll ask you for your username, and then they'll ask you to fill out some surveys. For example, some of them that I found were like, are you pregnant? If so, you can fill out a survey, or are you a child? If so, you can fill out a survey. These surveys are very selective and in the end do not give you a reward, but instead exit the tab. Next, what most of them do is they will take your cookies, and which is exactly what happened in this Roblox Ice Falls Sam, causing thousands of accounts to be gone. Through the usage of cookies, which are basically things in your browser that allow you to be tracked. For example, Google will use these things to track you on YouTube to find out what you want in your recommended. They will use these cookies in order to track your personal info, which you do not want. This could be sold to advertisers, which could potentially gain revenue for them. Lastly, through cookies, passwords are stored. If someone can take hold of your cookies, this is not good, as you could lose multiple passwords and not just your Roblox account, which is how most kids lost their account. Please stay safe with these sites and don't even go on them for fun, as they can potentially take personal information for you, even if you have it in a private mode. The second step, once they gain your information, is to use this information. They will input a bot into your account, which will essentially spam all your messages. All your friends will get this message, which is why most of you have gotten so many messages saying, hey, you can get a free ice falk. After they spam and take your account, it essentially has no value unless it has things in it. So here's my theory. I believe that they may use Vermilion, which is an illegal third party site, to sell your items if you have those items. If not, your account is essentially useless unless it has credit card info in it. And after using your account, if your account has no items or free items, they most likely discard of it, and this is most likely what happens after your account is done for. Therefore, one account gone, the second account gone, and so forth. It's almost like a plague. The plague passes around from person to person, and then after, the plague kills them. And dark as retrospective as it is, it's exactly what happens with these accounts. Once they're done, they're not to be used anymore, and therefore your password will be changed as well to prevent you from getting into the account. If your account is hacked, you must report this to Roblox. If your account is hacked through this scam, please email roblox at info at roblox.ca. They can help you sort some things out. For example, my account was hacked and it was recovered. However, they can only recover your account once, so please be sure to use it effectively and correctly. Alone by this, multiple YouTubers estimate that they've gotten over 100,000 accounts, which is a lot of accounts. In fact, a lot of my friends have unfortunately fallen for this scam, and I don't want you to as well. Please educate your friends about this as well. On to our next slide. It's obviously not real. It takes common sense but there's also proof found in the Terms of Service of Roblox. Let's read it. Player Trading Scams Roblox cannot enforce deals made between players outside our official features. There's a couple official ways to transfer items or Roblox between accounts. All other methods are unofficial and should be treated as suspicious. The official items are the trade feature and the selling features on clothing, game passes, and developer products. If you made a deal with another player and they backed out, we are not able to reverse it or return your items or currency. What are considered deals? Examples of suspicious deals include the following. Using the official systems to pay for accounts, real world money, or groups. Lending your account or items out or letting a player borrow them. Making deals where one of the sides has to go first and trust the other person. Giving your account or item to another person to sell or trade for you. The above are general attempts to scam items or robux off of players. If you think a trade is a bad idea, it probably is and you shouldn't do it. What should I do if I see someone scamming? 
Make sure to use the Report Abuse buttons located throughout the site to report anyone who is scamming. It's the best way to help this prevent from happening in the future. Now, how can you protect yourself? If this happens to you, always enable 2FA, which is two-factor authentication. It will get a code for your email and it's what I use. It's the safest way to prevent anyone from getting into your account. You can enable it by going in Roblox slash settings. Thank you so much for watching my video. I really appreciate it. And thank you all for helping me get to the incredible number of 1,000 subscribers. I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.